So you wanna scale your online blogging business, but you're not sure how to grow it bigger and how to outsource content in a meaningful way. My name is Charlie here from Passive Priority, and I've grown my second authority website to over 180,000 sessions per month by publishing 1,187 articles in the first year and a half. I outsourced the majority of this content, and today I'm gonna to showcase what I did to push content, find low competition keywords, outsource the content, and grow traffic to this large level. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through how I published 1,187 articles and grew traffic to 180,000 sessions per month. First, it required a lot of content. This amount of articles came out to being over 1.25 million words, with an average article being around 1,060 words. I targeted low competition keywords and produced an article that was answering a question or a search query in order to satisfy the user intent of why they were coming to my website. By targeting these low competition keywords, my site was able to rank higher in Google search because there was less competition from larger authority websites. This strategy took time, took months for it to rank, but ultimately, as my site created some topical authority in Google's eyes from having so much of this content in my niche on these low competition keywords, traffic grew. It led to a lot of traffic and it didn't happen right away. The first six months were very slow. The site that you see on the screen, I started in December of 2020. And now in May of 2022, this site receives over 5,400 sessions per day, which equates to over 180,000 sessions per month. I monetize this site with Mediavine, receive an RPM anywhere between $25 to $30, and the site makes a significant amount of income on a monthly basis, all from informational content based around low competition keywords. So this is the business strategy, and it's very simple and easy to replicate. I find the low competition question keywords using tools like Ahrefs, Ubersuggest, or SEMrush. Two different ways I can find those keywords is just by thinking about keywords in my niche. Search that keyword in Google, see what the top results look like. The goal is to find a site that has low competition keywords that might be AI driven or just low authority, low quality content. If you can find a site like that, you can plug into these search tools and duplicate their keyword strategy. By producing better content and having larger topical authority over time, you can outrank these sites and have a more easier approach to focusing on your niche with those keywords that are gonna bring in traffic over time. Usually what I do once I find that low competition keyword for a new cluster on my site, I write the first article to create that desired formatting. Now, majority of my sites are outsourced content, but I find good writers to outsource that content too. However, regardless of how good a writer is, they need a template or something to follow in order to satisfy what your goal is for your site and how you want your content to look. So by writing the first article on my site, I'm able to share that URL once it's published with the writer and tell them exactly what I'm looking for in terms of formatting. Do I need certain type of certain parts of the article bolded? Do I need certain pictures added in certain spots? Am I answering a question? Am I giving a list? My template will show that to the writer. Next, I wanna use a high quality image provider or take my own high quality images and include that in the article, which will help enhance the user experience and provide better content and better value for the reader. Ultimately, having higher quality content and more value to the reader will benefit you long-term, whether the user stays on your site longer to help you with ad RPMs or for the user experience when Google measures it for how users are bouncing around between different web pages. Finally, I outsource that article to Buy Sell Text, which is an article agency, a very large one, or Upwork. Upwork is a little more time consuming, but can be cost effective in the long run. I'll usually put out a job posting to roughly 50 to 100 writers, get back all those applications, weed out the best five or 10, from there, I give them a sample article and I usually wind up picking the best two or three writers from that list. I'll have to re rinse and repeat that method several times throughout a month just to find the best writers. It does take time, but ultimately you can get writers at a little bit lower of a cost than if you go through an agency. Buy Sell Text is a great agency because I'm able to easily send them my template, show them exactly what I wanna do, and they have a large team of writers that are all native English speakers to write high quality content for informational websites. 
They also do content for buyer and 10 keywords as well, but I usually focus on just informational. I use my article as the main template for that writer and I get some really good results. What I notice is long term, I can find some great relationships from Upwork, but buy sell text is always very reliable for getting content. At this point, I just keep publishing content and rinse and repeating this method, finding low competition keywords, writing my initial template for an article cluster, outsourcing that template and that future keywords to writers from buy sell text or Upwork, and that's how my business grows. About buy sell text, they have over 432 million words written since the history of the site, 76,000 customers, and over 540,000 orders as of this date. To get 10% off your first order, use coupon code Passive Priority. I usually use the $40 per thousand word uh, range for, for articles because I find that's the highest quality that I'm going to receive from my site. That's also going to be an efficient level for me to outsource and grow with a lot of content. They have three different tiers. I believe it's $25 for a thousand words, $40 per thousand words, and $80 per thousand words. I've personally used each and every one of them. I've gotten high quality content from each level. I just noticed it's most consistent between the $40 to $80 range. Depending on the type of content that you order, those prices can vary, but usually for your typical blog post or informational article, those are the prices that you're gonna have to pay. Um, one thing I would recommend is the coupon code for 10% off for passive priority is only on your first order. So I would recommend potentially putting in a larger order for your first time to take advantage of that coupon code. I'm happy to provide samples and show things in the description. Thank you guys. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.